Getting back to the basics. Hooking a worm. Doesn't get any better than that sometimes. Well, we spend a lot of time all summer long trolling spinners, trolling rapalas, long lining, using planer boards, slip bobber fishing. But sometimes there's nothing better than a jig and a night crawler. Here we go. Here we go. Not the biggest fish in the world, but I tell you what, there's nothing like sending that jig out there and feeling that thump, 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 pulling in a walleye. One of the things I like to do when I'm fishing a jig and a crawler, a lot of jigs that are designed for holding plastic have this little, little keeper on the back. I like to take my night crawler and feed them on there, pass that little keeper, and then pop that right out the skin there so that that holds that worm right up on there pinch the tail off in some applications like we're doing here today. There you go. Night crawler on a on a hook. What we're doing is we're anchored out off the end of a rocky point and we're right on the top edge of the, the point and it drops off into deeper water. So what we're doing is pitching our jigs out into a little bit deeper water and working them back up this edge. And as they come up this edge, oh, I just missed one. Those fish are just working that edge and picking up our night crawlers as we slowly bounce them from deep water into shallow water. Super simple, so far, super effective. There we go. So the water's only about 63 degrees, so these fish aren't super aggressive yet. So we're actually just kind of dragging our baits on the bottom. It seems to be when we pause it, they're picking it up off the bottom. Again, not, not a giant by any stretch of the imagination, but fun to reel in a few fish every now and then. So one of the issues we have while we're fishing with these crawlers is the mess they make in the boat. I mean, you look at this, you look at this, pile of worms and mud you get it on your fingers in the bottom of your boat it's just a mess so we do get yourself a cool whip container put a little lake water in there you can wash the tips of your fingers off and even stage a few crawlers in the water so when you want to use them they're nice and clean just go in there grab yourself a crawler if you're using a whole crawler there you got it Pinch and a half off today, half a crawler, straight to the hook. It's nice and clean, keeps the boat clean, less mess for later. It's my helpful tip of the day. You know, the sun's starting to go down and it seems to be that that fading light has really turned these fish on. Again, I'm hoping a few bigger ones maybe uh, work their way into the mix. Not really the quality we're looking for, but yeah. It'll do for now. We're looking for a meal tonight. Uh, we're going to let that one get a hair bigger before we uh, think about laying a knife into him. Not much bigger, but they're still biting. That's, that's an eater. Mm-hmm. Nice work. Well, the sun has gone down. We're running out of daylight. We did get a couple decent walleyes for a little dinner. I wouldn't go so far as to say nice, but 
about a 16, 17 incher. That'll fry up just fine. So with that one, I think we're gonna head in, have a little lunch. Thanks for watching. So much for getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't the size that counts, it's how you use it.